Now we are here in the 18 meter grid of the World Gliding Championships in Szeged in Hungary um, and we will check out the gliders which are here. You can see this one here is a JS1 um, then we have the Ventus 3, we have an AS33 but most pilots are flying with the JS3 and that's why we will check out the JS3 and ask one of the manufacturers. So why is the JS3 so good in the 80 meter class? And why are so many pilots flying JS1 and JS3 here? <laughs> no, that you have to ask them. I fly it because we manufacture them. <laughs> so oh, it's okay. for me an <laughs> aircraft that I'm comfortable with. But yeah. firstly, I would say I think all the modern 18 meter gliders are superbly good. You also see in the sky they're flying really well. Certain aircraft a little better at, at weak weather and certain ones are probably a little bit stronger in uh, in fast weather. So I think the type of weather we're having now is, is also very suitable for the for the JS3. Um, but we've also seen that it flies well in weak weather because of the light uh, propulsion system. The jet sustainer is a very light system, so that your minimum wing loading is also fairly low. Okay. So I think I can get down to a 45 wing loading and I can go up to a 60 wing loading, which gives you quite a wide span, which makes it quite suitable for a competition. Perfect. Can you show us some technical details on the glider yeah um, I think I think maybe the thing main thing that differentiate the glider from from the others is that we, we try to identify the best aerodynamic position for the wings so you can see the, the available wing area is a little bit higher with a high wing and the modulations that we've done say that this is the best place to position the wing and then we, we created the fuselage it's really a, a low drag fuselage I think we've sp spent most of our effort in in optimizing a, a low drag fuselage, quite compact, but amazingly we fi still find quite um, sizable pilots fitting in it um, fairly comfortable. We have pilots on 196 and, and quite heavy pilots, it's, it flies it comfortably. I personally feel it's a bit small for me, I like a bit more space, but I, I, once you're in the flight it's perfect. Yeah, yeah and then Fit obviously we have, the, we have the retractable buck wipers, which is critical nowadays in these profiles that you wipe nicely. So you can see there's a few modifications to, to, to optimize the the, the stability of the buck wiper itself to see if we can get um, stability and cleaning a bit improved. Then obviously there's a very compact jet sustainer system. The system itself with fuel is, is not much more than 30 kilograms installed. So it's a very small penalty you pay. You only pay like three points for having a fully um, a full sustainer with give you a range of 150 kilometers. So, so the comfort of not outlanding is, 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 is quite great. Um, and then we have the retractable can tail wheel. You can walk can around. There. And also the, the paint job here is nice with the stripes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um, this is an interesting uh, paint job. It's very attractive in the sky. Yeah. Everybody can see you and know <laughs> really where you cool. are. <laughs> um, some of the small items, which is maybe not um, carrying so much. Um, of the drag, but which we have calculated and they're all contributing firstly is the tail wheel, so we have a retractable tail wheel mm -hmm. and you also see that we don't have any any of the the control horn covers there, so we made it quite flash, so we did a, a, a difference in the control system that you don't have to have um, the the additional drag of the of the housings where the rudder cables are coming out, right. so that is removed and then we have a small score where we don't disturb the laminar flow over the fin here so our, our other probes are, there, are, are sitting in an area where they're causing quite a, a huge effect to the laminar flow in the fin. And here we affect quite a small area. And I must say they sit in a super smooth area. So they are really good indications far away, away from the fuselage. So also with a with jet on or with the electric propulsion system on, um, we don't have any wake over them. So so the position itself is that you only need one system and it's it's good very good accurate information that we climb here. The disadvantage is people are not used to this, uh -huh. so spectators might be walking into this. So I think we sold about five or six of these um, for the sad cases where somebody walked into it. Um, and then obviously this is a very um, small optimized tailplane, mainly for competition functions. It's very, very small um, tailplane. On the, on the rest one we made it slightly larger uh, because of the propulsion system you need um, for certification, a slightly larger tailplane to fulfill the requirements. And as you can see, in general, the aircraft is a very small frontal area. We made it as, as, as small as possible, high aspect ratio, um, integrated wing with a winglet design, which we, which we think works quite well. 
um, and it's really pleasant to fly. It's a really easy handling aircraft to fly, which uh, it's just a joy to fly. It's light in the controls and it's, 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 it's amazing to fly, so I, I really some enjoy point, it. I will need to fly such a J3. <laughs> I, th yeah. I think you have a couple of weeks in a J3 booked. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Some of the most positive feedback we get is how light the flap handle is. It's so light you can basically operate it with two fingers and almost in flight like that. So you can you can really just feel the air with what, what it's doing with the flap. It's just amazing. And then the other requirement is in case your air brakes are forgot open, it will only go to the first step without opening on aerato or you can select the setting and you can change and if you're on final glide you can or on final approach you can already select a setting and change flaps or on the unlikely event and you forgot your gear you can actually leave the air brakes there and you can put your gear down and you don't have to have your hand on the brakes. So this is quite a safety feature that we that we invented and which we think works very successfully. Um, then another comfortable feature is that you can set the rudder pedals at any setting where you like to. So electrically adjustable settings makes it really comfortable in flight to adjust it to the position you would like to have. So all these um, features are, are adding up to make it quite a, a comfortable aircraft to fly. And then if you if you look in the, the jet system, to, to operate the jet system is really straight, simple and forward. You just basically have to have one selection of the, of the jet system and uh, it takes a few seconds obviously to boot up and once it's in this mode you just have one switch you just select the one switch from here to run and the engine will automatically extend really quick <laughs> and the, the beauty about the jet is that you, you cruise home at 150 kilometers an hour and you climb at this level, you probably climb more than two meters per second. So it's, a, it's a very efficient method of a sustainer, it's a very efficient sustainer. So I think for a competition pilot, this is probably the best solution. Lightweight and very efficient and easy to operate. Perfect, then have a great flight. Good luck. Thanks, Stefan. And see you soon. <laughs> great, thanks. <laughs>